Hello and welcome to Lean Excel Solutions. In this video, we will learn about one of the advanced tool in PowerPoint and that is Merge Shapes. So, let's get started. First, let's see where to find it in PowerPoint. Once click on any shape, Shape Format tab will visible. It is available in Insert Shape group. But currently, it is disabled because we have selected only one shape. To enable it, at least two or more than two shapes must be selected. And now, Merge Shape is enabled and from drop-down, we can see various options available for Merge Shape. But, why should we use Merge Shapes? It can help us to create a new and custom shapes from one or more exists which are not in these shapes list. Even to create shapes with images and icons without using any software. So let's not settle for basic PowerPoint shape. Create our own unique shapes. Before we proceed further, let's understand few important points. First, there must be one text box or shape out of selected items. Like, here I have added few text boxes, shapes, icons, and images. If I am selecting one text box or shape and any other items, the merge shape option will be enabled. But if I selected two icons or two images or icon and image, merge shape option will not visible. Second, the merged shape will have same formatting of the first shape selected. Like color, outline, shape effects, etc. So if you want to keep a particular formatting, be sure to select that shape first. Third, once the shapes merged together, you will lose the original shape. So, if you are experimenting with merged shapes, make sure to keep copy of original one especially while working with text box. Now, let's understand how to use Merge Shapes feature. As we can see here, it provides five options. These images itself indicates what will be the outcome of these options if we merge two circles. The gray area represents the result of merging shapes and the white area will be erased. Let's better to demonstrate it. For demonstration, we will add similar shapes with different color. Also, change some formatting of one of the shapes. Alright, now if I select this shape first, this second and select union option, the output shape will have same formatting as first one selected. Similarly, if I select this shape first, same formatting will be for output shape. So, what union did actually? It merges all selected shapes into one shape. Next is combine, select these shapes and click on combine option. It erases overlapping portion and makes one shape out of it. And then fragment. It creates separate shapes of overlapping parts and non-overlapping parts. So each part is separated. In intersect, it creates shape out of overlapping part only and erases both the shapes. If you observed, intersect is exactly opposite to combine. In combine, overlap portion was erased and intersect creates shape out of overlap portion. And last one is subtract. It creates shape out of first selected shape and erase others, including overlapping parts. Now. Let's see one more example quickly with text box and image. Before that, 
Let's add one shape in background to visualize the effects. Let's put them one over others and try selecting merge shape options. Now, there is one more interesting feature of fragment shape. It not only creates separate shapes out of intersect sections, but also create new shape from gap or blank shape between the shapes. Let's see it with few examples. This is the black area between these shapes. After merging, this is the new shape created from gap between it and these are the shapes from intersect portion. Similarly, this shapes from blank area between four circles. In this way, we can create any desired shape. Thank you for watching.